Have you ever wondered how to assemble one of those big cantilever umbrellas and how to work them? Well, we're about to show you right here on Curious Koala. Stick around, we'll be right back. So this is the umbrella that we got. It's a Coolaroo Brampton cantilever umbrella, four meters by three meters. Got it from Bunnings Warehouse. Before we start putting it together though, let me show you a little bit about what we're trying to do here. As you can see, there's not much shelter here and the sun gets this pretty much all day long. Comes over from behind the chairs that you can see, all the way around this way. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a shade over this area that is flexible enough for us to move when the sun goes round. The deck's four and a half metres by three and a half metres, the umbrella's four metres by three metres. It has a tilt function and I'm hopeful that we can pretty much achieve our goals with this. Let's have a look at the umbrella. Oh, hello Ruby, have you come to help? This is Ruby. Now the first thing I can see is this comes with a two-year frame warranty and a five-year fabric warranty. It's four meters long, at three meters wide, 2.8 meters high and 2.07 meters clearance under the umbrella. So, it looks fairly simple from what we've got here. Looks like we've got the umbrella. On the stand. Assembly instructions. Cover, we'll, we'll cover to one side for a moment, I think. You helping with that, Ruby? Thank you. An extending pole. I guess we'll work out where this goes. and two boxes. So in here, this looks like the pedal mechanism for the rotation. This particular model has a rotate function. Probably need those later, Ruby. <sighs> and this looks like this looks like a base. Now, this is gonna be a fairly heavy umbrella. So what we've got, which you can't see at the moment, we've got four concrete pavers, which will hold this down. I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to chuck it up on some concrete pavers as well, because the deck's a little bit off the ground, which is where it's going to sit. Okay, assembly instructions look fairly simple. Twelve steps. 
Let's give it a go. In the booklet, these are labelled A and B. No such labelling on the actual parts, but it's very simple. I think these can actually only go together one way anyway. Seems to go just on the out holes. Don't see any instructions for the inner holes. I suspect that this may be a generic base. And with the bolts and the washers, we also have the Allen key. Like most of the tools are provided for this. I make sure this is nice and tight. I don't want this coming loose. Now what we can see here, we have these little lips, concrete pavers will fit in here, four, one, two, three, four, which will make a nice base for some planters as well. That's our plan anyway. Okay, so that looks like step two completed. Now, this one looks like a little bit more complicated for a one person on their own. Let's we'll see how we go. Might try to do it while it's still in its laying down position. So, this is to hide all the, the screws, which goes over the base mechanism. The instructions say position that cowl over the base, but uh, the base seems to be too big for it to go over. Try a different way. to do this is a little swivel knob comes out and the base comes out. That could have been in the instructions, would have made it a little bit easier. But bolt this down first. Okay, so that's on, that should swivel around. Lock it back in place. Put the cowling over. That's looking, taking shape. So we're now up to step five. So pretty much the, uh, pretty much the final steps we're up to here. Uh, which may be a little tricky on my own because this is quite heavy. So I'm not really sure what this is for. We'll check that one out. Take 
and now shortly. I undid the Velcro while I was investigating the base. Probably best to leave the Velcro, otherwise the umbrella is going to move open. As you can see, it's perfectly possible to do it on your own, but it's probably easier with two. It's only that last bit anyway. Okay, so we've put some pavers down to hold it down so that it doesn't fall over. Let's give it a test run. We have a trigger handle here. Brings it up. Very quick lock. All the way up to its full height. I'm sure we'll get it all in here. There we go. Let's bring it down a little bit first. Okay, so I can't put it flat, it only just made it there. Um, that's a pretty big umbrella. I have some packaging underneath, we'll take those off. So I'm not sure what this does. I'll try and work that one out. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put it in position where we're going to be and we'll see if it does what it's supposed to do so we've got this in place now as you can see it pretty much covers the whole area there is a little gap over by the hedge but seeing as the sun comes from the other side that will sitting underneath that will pretty much always be in shade The shape of it fits with the deck perfectly. A few planters, a few plant pots around the base where we put the pavers and I think we're good to go. That took less than half an hour to put up. What a difference it's made. Now we can sit out in the shade, eat our meals. Okay, well thanks for joining me. I will see you next time.